Hey friends, Catherine here, and today I want to get back to flip cups. I always think those are really fun, but I want to do this one in more browns. So I was thinking about it and like, I normally do really bright colors for these, like fire engine red and like neon greens and yellows and all the best things are brown like coffee and chocolate and burritos so we're gonna play around with some browns today some brown maybe a little bit of orange in there just to add a little bit of contrast maybe some purple who knows just Add in some really out there colors and see how it goes. And I'm pouring these from pretty high up. That way, hopefully, we'll get an interesting spread on them. Yep, definitely putting some purple in because I've already done it. It's too late now. Um, ooh, it drips all over my hand. That's okay. I do still want it to be predominantly brown, so we'll add a bit more of the dark brown. This is going to be way too much paint. That's okay. It'll work out. And a bit more of the tan. Okay. Just a little bit, not too much. All right. Close those back up and put them away. And all right, I think we are ready. Let's flip this over and let it settle and see how that ends up. Oh, this is a 14 by 11 canvas. So this is bigger than the tray that I've got it set over. That should hopefully be all right. Well, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Just want to give it plenty of time to settle down. It's fine. Plenty of time to settle. And then lift the cup. <laughs> that is way too much paint. That's okay. We'll work it out. We'll pour off the excess and it'll be fine. Go. But that is definitely fun looking. Okay. That cup is done for. So we'll just set it aside. And then let's pick this up and bring it out to the corners. That's why we have paper down on our work surface because things will make messes and it will be fine and it will be fine because we've got paper down. Just down to that corner. That's gonna be so cool looking. It's definitely getting a bit blobby, so let's see if we can't encourage that right like that. Maybe just between those. Okay, now pick it up and pour again, or well, tilt again. See if we can't get it to just even out a little bit, and then down this way. Ooh, missed an edge there. 
right along there. Okay. Oh, but that's going to be so cool looking. And kind of almost hazy? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it turns out. Okay, getting kind of these runny bits again, so let's just bring down paint between them, see if we can't encourage that to even out a little bit. All right, and then pick it up and try again. Almost done. That is very cool looking definitely happy with the purple that I threw in there. It's not very strong, but it's just right. Let's see if we can just get it down just a little bit further. Okay. So that is pretty fun covering my hands that's okay um, now there was something interesting that we did the other day it wasn't on a flip cup but I want to see if it'll do anything interesting for this one because we can always paint over it although I really do like how this is turning out on its own I've got some spray silicone here and I want to see if we can just and see what that does. Oh, yes. Oh, that was definitely a good idea. I love that. Can you tell? Can you? I'm sure you can. I can't see how you would miss that. That is wonderful. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm going to leave that as it is. Nothing else needs to be done with it. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, definitely let me know. Um, remember to subscribe. And I will see you all another day. Bye. That is so cool. That is just so cool.